It's game week, and my partners is just popping in. It's five after seven. You know what I mean? The most punctual, the most punctual, prepared person I've come across is five minutes late, man. He's in the back right now, you know, popping in like he's on time. Like he's popping in like everything is all good, man. He got his arms crossed like everything is all. He got his hat to the back. Like he's on time. So like he was waiting for me. You know what I mean? This is what I'm talking. It's game time and we dealing with tardiness, man. You know what I mean? We we not gonna win because of this. It's it's P it's it's fans like this. You know what I mean? It's fans like this that give Miami a bad name, man. We can't just be on time, man. Come on, man. Come on. Let's bring them in, man. Come on, man. Come on in, man. Hey man, my bad, bro. Come on in, man. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yo, I was in the back dying. Oh man. It's like all the times, all the all the times, all the clock times on my house are all fucked up. I forgot I didn't realize what time it was, man. My fault. That's my oh, fault. <laughs> my dog said we doing, not gonna he was win doing hur- he was doing hurricane prep for the past three days. You my dog I mean? said we're not gonna win because I'm tardy. <laughs> you know what I mean, you can't oh my God. no way we gonna win. We, there's no way we gonna win chips with fans like this, man. With party fans, man. Punctual <laughs> person. I forgot the third P. That was, that was another P. That was stupid. Oh man, uh, you cooked on that one, brother. Hey man, y'all know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, so yeah, check out the man. intro. We gonna cook, so man. Thank you for pocket. Let's go. Let's go, man. man. Let's go, man. Welcome to the You Heard Podcast with your hosts, Ben, Joe, and CP. We're here to cover everything related to Miami Hurricanes football, from hot topics to pre- and post-game analysis. All right, we'll talk about that then. So no, no, let's talk about that right now because you completely <laughs> flipped it on me now. I hate him for knowing this, bro. This man knew the brand, dog. <laughs> okay, I don't appreciate that. I'm saying, like, I don't appreciate that. I mean, what, did you say? No. what are we talking about, man? Get into our talk. I feel keeping it a buck. You heard? Punctual. We not gonna win because my boy is tardy. Yo, you yeah, stupid, man. yo. My man C B uh, at work all late and all that. Man, it's game week. He's supposed to just bounce. Like y'all yeah, just walk me. off. Hey man, Miami's out. yeah, Miami's more important. Y'all figure it out tomorrow, man. Y'all be good. Out, yeah, it's man. Crazy, it's going man. Down, though, man. Chilling, man. Chilling, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had to record a pod yesterday because I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it today. I thought I was gonna lose power. You know what I mean? Like legit to like the last three hours when it turned more west. I was like, all right, I should be good, man. Yeah, man. Yo, uh, how we get a let me let's just jump right in. How we get a new DT like the day before game one? Hey man, you know, coach is not playing, man. Coach Cristobal, uh Mr. Highsmith, you know what I mean? They understand mm-hmm. the needs and they trying to win this chip, man. You know what I mean? I don't think the mediocrity is is what they want. So yeah. we're gonna get who we need to get. Did you did you have a chance to watch his highlight film? I haven't had a chance to watch his highlight film, but doing a doing a little running around this crib trying to get everything back situated. We're gonna watch it. Matter of fact, we're gonna take a break for y'all, but we're gonna come right back like we never left because we're about to watch that shit right now. We'll be right back. We'll have some info for you. All right, so we were gonna do this off air, but Figure we keep it real with y'all, and y'all get the real feedback. Joe already watched this, but I haven't seen it. He said the first two plays is all you need to see. All right, you ready? Let's go. Peep the peep the position six six two three twenty. Look where we at. No. Let's go. No. Let's go. No. I'm not right. pausing. I'm not stopping. We ain't going. We're not breaking this down. We just watch it. Six. They throwing fades to him. He's catching over the shoulder. No, they not, man. 
Fam, he had he was so wide open, he waited for that ball, yo. No. 320, man. No. Oh. Look at that first step, that get off. Come on, son. Jamil Burroughs, welcome to the U, baby. Uh, Stop it. Stop it. God. You know what? That's the, that man needs to walk off the field. That that dude needs to walk off right now. Ah, come on, ah. man. Look at the extension. Good hands. Perfect extension. Good hands. Yes, yes sir. Let's see what we're doing here. Ooh, man, that man. Alabama transfer. Alabama ain't no slouches, man. <laughs> so y'all already know. And that pursuit. Shout out to number nine. <coughs> ain't getting that number here though, because that's not a Jalik number. Yeah, he dropped back. I don't know what that was, but I, I hope. You think they had him coverage? Yeah, you think they had him coverage? Ooh. Oof. That's a child. Oof. That's somebody's child he just did that to. Come on, son. Look at him chasing. Look at him chasing. Oh, uh, read the play. Man, this is crazy. Chasing. Mm. Uh. Crazy direction. Yes. yes direction, man. Put, put, foot in the ground. Yeah. See, that's what I'm it. saying. I love it. Opinion, very, very similar to Octavius Jones, man. Yeah, man. Look. Oh. Coming. Oh. Shoot. This is a pursuit. This is a pursuit drill. Yeah. Yeah. That's that Vince Warford type shit. Running side on the sideline. Boom. Ah. Get off. Being yeah, held. Man. Two players. Yeah, man. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. They said we Get needed off, a deep tackle. They say we off, needed man. a deep tackle. All right, man. We gonna we, we gonna relax. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill. We're gonna chill. We're gonna start mm. coming lives yet. We gonna, they said we need a size though, Joe. Oh. They said oh, Lord. they said we small on the inside. Oh Lord. My dog Jesus. Alonzo Highsmith. Alonzo Highsmith and Mario Cristobal were like, we ain't done. We ain't, we ain't gonna wait till signing day. Yeah. We ain't gonna wait till December. Nah. We need D tackles right now. Nah. Called up, called up Alabama. Was like, yo man, let me let me get let me get let me get that Jamil Burroughs, six two three twenty three. They said we small. We ain't small no more. <coughs> so let's just so go right into the what D we line. what we don't know, but it looks like it's been confirmed. That he won't play this year. Yeah. Because he entered after the portal window. Yeah. So he's not eligible for the year. So it's more of a, you know, 2024 move. He has three years of eligibility left. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah man. So this is uh... – He's already enrolled in classes. I saw Gabby posted that. He's already enrolled in classes. So just like Frankie Tenerlau, right? Frankie Tenerlau is another uh, lineman on the offensive side of the ball. Fully enrolled in Miami. Um, just not going to play till the 2024 season. Mm -hmm. Look, we have <coughs> – we could go down the line. We have a lot of defensive linemen leaving next year, right? From That's... graduating to going to the pros. So we needed another body to be alongside in the modern Moten of Ruben Bain. Does that does that kind of change your perspective? Because we always try to we try to look at this shit like outside of just this year. Does that try to change? Mm -hmm. Does that change your perspective as to what we're gonna have going forward? Does that kind of because that's right now in the twenty four season? If we look at him as a recruit, right? That's uh, Elias Rudolph, uh, Marquis Lightfoot, Artavius Jones, Jamel Burroughs, mm -hmm. and we're not done yet. By all account, obviously never done. You see the shit. The day before our first day, we signed a twenty, a twenty four kid with three years left. Yeah, man, it, it definitely helps because he's a twenty twenty high school graduate, so he's about twenty one right now. You know, twenty twenty one. Next year, maybe he'll be twenty two. So that's experience. He's had experience at the at Bama. You know, you can't, you know, you can't deny that. That experience um, and that and that work he's already put in, 
Um, he got into some trouble, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But hopefully he's matured and got past it. And I definitely, you know, what type of a stickler Coach Cristobal and the staff is doing. Yeah, he's yeah. not letting somebody who won't mess with the culture, man. So, yeah. um, you know, it's a good it's a good pickup, man. And and you made a good point that it's like a recruit, a 2024 recruit, basically, yeah. man. Um, we still got Aiden Breland on the board. Still got LJ McCray on the board. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Signing day ain't until December. But this guy, Jamil Burroughs, is signed. He's in, yeah. he's in there. It ain't no – nah, he in there. We don't have to wait till December for him, you know? So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it definitely it definitely, it definitely, um, helps the outlook. Thing. Yeah. 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 And you never know who, what other transfers can can pop up because look, there's nothing wrong with transfers if you gotta if you gotta cover a body because you know what I'm saying for whatever reason high school recruits don't jump. It's, it's a different and you want quality, game. man. He's he was recruited by everybody, Bama, yeah. Georgia, Clemson, Ohio, everybody. You know, what yeah. I mean? so he's you know he was offered by everybody, man. So he's not a slouch. Facts. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and then in this defense, like yeah, this is hacking, yeah. slanting defense, man. He gonna uh, <laughs> no, no, I know. That's twenty four though, man. That's twenty four. We're on the right now. We're on the eve, basically, right? We got games tomorrow. Yeah, man. Listen, son. Like I'm so hyped for this game. I was watching. Uh, Chris Stock talk with the the guy who covers the 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 team from Ohio. Uh, talk about their offense and talk about how Brett Gabbert, you know, what I'm saying their quarterback is, you know, what I'm saying is a good quarterback, is good at escapability because his O line's trash. That's that's like the hidden part about that escapability, right? You ain't got to escape if you got a clean pocket. You ain't mm-hmm. escaping shit. He's six foot tall quarterback, pretty accurate. I watched a little bit of his tape, um, mm-hmm. but short, quick because he I feel like he dips under people because they're so tall. I'm saying I think like that's the escape low center of gravity, but uh yeah man I think I think it's gonna <coughs> I think it's gonna be a good game but I'm not I'm not giving them I think and what I said on the show yesterday right when I was running solo dolo I just think this team's hungry man I and I don't I don't think you could approach this thing as like oh we're that we're stronger because this our guys got experience from last year this is a whole new team right 43 new players so how how do you how do you go from what they did last year to this year? You can't. That's why I said all that shit is dead. It's over. Yep. Yep. This, this team is different. We're going to have a bunch of new starters, young players, transfers. So I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Yeah, man. The thing that, you know, Cam Cam Kitchens made a good point, man. They asked him if, you know, what what the quarterback said motivated him. He's like, yo, man, we've been motivated. We, ain't, we didn't need that. You know what I mean? Yep. they may That may add to it, I'm sure. Um, you know, cause they athletes, they see everything, they hear everything, but be like, nah, man, we've been motivated, you know, since five and seven, we've been motivated, man. So yeah, that's what's up. That's you, that's what you want to hear. And it shouldn't take, it shouldn't take that, you know, to push you, you know? So that's what's yeah. up. I like the, I like what Ruben Bain said was like, I'm just trying to give my best effort out there. Like I got high expectations of myself than anybody does of me. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, Ruben Bain expresses himself, uh, communicates, uh, breaks down things in a way that most 18-year-old players don't. Like, he's just he's just different. You know what I mean? And, like, and that mentality, just, I got to see the the him talking to the media. And they asked him a question, shout out to, I think, I want to say it was Marcus Benjamin from Kings County. He asked the same question that we had, what we had broken down when they asked Francis, but it was where it's like, how do you evaluate yourself? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the questions I like. It's like, because everybody watches something different. Like, me and you can watch a movie, watch a t- watch tape, and we see different things, right? Only you know how to evaluate you if you're being honest with yourself. So he's like, look, man, I got higher expectations of myself than anybody else. And that's 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 just the work ethic. That's just what's been instilled in me. And he had this little line. He goes, I'm on, I had generations of, of my family get to play. Now it's my turn. Like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, like that. That's that added. That's that added shit. Where like he understands what it means to be a Miami Hurricane. 
no through doubt. his entire life because his family did it. No doubt. And he's been taught well, man, because he seems like the moment is never too big, man. You can't, you can't, especially when you're an athlete. And I think in life, it helps when you're even killed. You know what I mean? When it's not too much, when you're not too up and you're not too down, man. You know what I mean? Because we have to, we have to be able to be chameleons, man. We have to be able to adjust to anything. So sometimes it's going to be rough. Sometimes it's going to be smooth. Sometimes, you know, things are going to go. Nothing really goes the way we expect it or think it's going to go. Sometimes it does. You know what I mean? And that's that's dope when that happens. Yeah. But you have to be able to run, change directions when it's time to change directions, man. And he seems yeah. like a young man that can do that, you know? So yeah. that's dope. That's dope. Moment ain't going to be too big for him. He played at Central for four years. He won yeah. championships for four years. The moment ain't too big for him. Bigger yeah, platform, yeah, check- bigger stage, but he's been playing on big stages his whole career, man. So. His whole life. Everybody known about Ruben Bain. Forever. People, when he was a child, people would probably go see his games, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, early on to see what he was going to do. We got a lot of players like that, right? Like, a lot of players that have been on the big stage at every level their whole time growing up. <laughs> so those yeah. moments aren't gonna be are gonna be too big for them. Who who do you see outperforming their age uh this well, year? Ruben Bain, of course, and um Francis, of course. Um Mark Fletcher. Yeah. Mark Fletcher, um Damari. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. yeah, I got this. Yeah, he's not another. It's just, and it's 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 one of those things. Like if you say too much about the young guys, some people are like, oh, but what about? Well, listen, man, I'm only we're only speaking specifically about these young guys coming in because it's just it just. I'm not buying into the hype of it. I'm just saying it's different the way they process and communicate with with their teammates. Again, I've said it over and over again. Ruben Bain calling out a fifth year guy in a key mesador isn't a normal thing. I I had I can't recall a time that happened and that they're public mm-hmm. with it. So yeah, man, it's man. Listen, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. And, and everybody says the same thing, right? So the coaches say the same thing. We gonna see on the field. Like practice yeah. is practice, man. Yeah. Practice is practice. We're gonna see. <laughs> Because you have another team that don't like you. So you have another yeah. team that's really trying to hurt you. Yeah. It's not they, practice. They're really, you know trying, to, you know they're really trying to take this out. Yeah, yeah, you know your man is not trying to hurt you. You know what I mean? They really trying to do something. They want to throw that you upside down. They yeah. want to do that. They love doing that shit. And they yeah. want to do that. So this is when it, this is when it counts, man. You know what I mean? All the shit you've been doing is is nice. That's cool. That's preparation. So when you go into to hard rock, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be big because you've been preparing for this for eight months. Yeah, this is when this is when we find out if you prepared when the coaches weren't watching. Mm-hmm. Right. This is when we yeah. find out if you were accountable to yourself when the lights weren't on. Right, because yep. during the summer, coaches can't really rock with you. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You can't communicate with them. Maybe some assistant coaches, or you know what I'm saying, like the workout guys and stuff like that. But yep. none, of, none of your position coaches, nothing like that. This is when we find out what work you put in. Yep. Ain't, no, ain't no more of the of the clips from practice, you stretching, all that yada yada. This is this is when it's real. This is when we find out if LT figuring out how to, how to eat right matters now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How James Williams taking the time to recover from the shoulder surgery matters now. This is this is it. The lights are real now, fam. The lights are real. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can't you wait. You ready? Can't wait. I think I'm gonna check um Dylan Russell out Thursday night, man. They got a game. I think okay. Columbus plays somebody Thursday night. I think I'm gonna okay. try to check. Yeah. Um, Get some eyes on. Yeah, I want to see what it looked like. I've heard fantastic things. He won play of the year in, in days. So, yeah, it's that's classification. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. 
kind of see what it really looked like. And that could be another one added to the to the fray. You know, that's another D lineman. You yep. know, he'll probably he'll definitely probably kick inside because I think he what two six two two seventy right now, something yeah, like that. Yeah, around there. Yeah, around there. So he'll probably kick in inside. Six two two ninety. 280, 290. Yeah. 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 So uh, he's kicking inside. I yeah. mean, look, for all the worries uh people have of the interior D line, right? It might might have might have some questions, obviously. Going forward, I'm talking Josh Horton, Ahmad Moton, Dalen Russell, Artavius Jones. You know what I'm saying? You got Jamil Burroughs already. That's five. That's not kind of Anthony Campbell. Anthony Campbell, yeah, he's there. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's that's six. That's what six, seven players. It's yeah. the thing is, like I, I think a lot of fans try to fill in the blanks of these people because of the unknown. Like mm-hmm. they're an unknown commodity right now. Sure. What if sure. this year Ahmad Butler balls out and has six sacks? You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be a rotating line, like six sacks, five and a half, six sacks, ten tackles for loss, and like thirty tackles mm-hmm. as a D tackle. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's rotating in with the other guys. What if Josh Horn comes in at the end of the year and starts peaking and has three or four sacks in the game when we're playing lesser competition? And this is the reason we we win a game that we might not might not have won if yeah. it wasn't for his performance. We never know how the season is going to turn out. Facts. So right now we thinking we thin, but going forward it could be like, yo, who, how how is so and so going to get burned coming into this deep deep D line? You know what I'm saying? It could be a totally different perspective at the end of the line at the end of the conversation, man. It's crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Can't wait. What you Can't mean? wait, brother. You know what I mean? It's about to happen, man. Yeah. It's about to happen, yeah. man. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yo, I'm still fighting. I'm trying to make this thing happen, man. We're going to talk, but. I know. Man, game one is tomorrow. It is yes. here. It's here, man. It, it's, it's here, here man. I'm going to go to sleep I, early. Like, you know, like it's Christmas the next day. I'm going to try to <laughs> Sleep all day, son. So we'll just hurry up and get in. Yeah, just go go right to sleep right after this, and just get get on that get on that flight. It's crazy. Yeah, wow. game is tomorrow, fam. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's here already. It's here. Yeah. What uh? Yeah. What did you think about uh? Gidry's press conference about what he talked about. I always feel like Gidry says a little bit too much, but he just <laughs> doesn't give a fuck. He just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I watched both Gidry and uh, Shannon Dawson. And um, I'm just real curious, man, to see what's what's really going on. Last night I was thinking about what unit I'm, I'm like, waiting to see more mm. of. Um, and I think it's the offense, man. I, I kind of – the defense, I, I, I really kind of know what's going to happen – I mean, we don't know what's going to happen, but I know what looks and kind of mm-hmm. what to expect from the defense. The right. offense, I really have no idea, man. I really mm-hmm. have no idea. There's so many ways you can finagle this thing. You know what I mean? Um, I will be so happy if we can just run the ball. I will be yeah. so happy, man, if we could just thug it out the whole yeah. game, man. Bully you know, ball. Yeah. Will we will we end up in second and three, third and ones all game? I'll be so happy to see us convert a third and one. On Damn, I run. might I, I will be jump out the I, building. Yeah, I might shed a tear, son. I might shed a tear, man. For real. Son, <laughs> we, it, was so, it never happened last year. It son. never happened. I can't remember um, one. A third and one, a fourth and one, just yeah. Son, you know what I want to say? Just very, just the push of the pile. I, I'm not talking nothing crazy like a huge gaping hole for a running back to bust sixty yards. No, just I just want to see the line move forward. Like that's yeah, that's man. all. Not get yep. pushed back by some lower, lower. You know what I'm saying? Lower competition. Yeah. Just yeah. move. Just see the line move. I might, I might cry. Like Mufasa yeah. died. Like I just, I might need to sit down. Like yeah, I need a moment. You just saw the push. Oh my God, this is crazy. Facts. Yeah. I would love. I would love to see that, man. And um, you know, that would give me so much encouragement. <laughs> That'd give me mm-hmm. so much encouragement, man. So 
you know, that's that's what I really want to see, man. How he uses. I'm I'm very I'm I'm excited about how, Coach Gidry and how he's going to use the pieces, mm -hmm. but I'm more intrigued with how the offense is going to look. If, right. if that makes sense, you know what I mean. So, it does. It does. So for me, it's 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 inverse, right? For me, it's I'm I'm intrigued with what Gidry's going to do watching him watching his tapes from last year. Mm -hmm. But you could tell me better, you know what I'm saying, than I, than I, the, the way I think about it is you could watch how Marshall played, you know what I mean, last year, but mm -hmm. the pieces are different, right? The chessboard is different now. Mm -hmm. So you can't – can you really watch Marshall be like, oh, these are uh, Coach Gidry's tendencies because you don't – because you might not know who those players in those positions are going to be and what that skill set is, right? I think so, though. I think I – think... There's there's a play on Marshall, Andre Sam, mm -hmm. you know, who was gonna transfer here, but I think he ended up at LSU or something. If you mm -hmm. watch how he was used, you can look at probably um you can look at probably a James Williams or something and, and see how how that's gonna work. You okay. can see how the ends are used, like you can look at a Najali Kelly. You know, and see how you know they were used when they when he stood them up in standing up. Najalik, Akeem Mesador, you know, Ruben Bain probably. Um, yeah, yeah. You can see. I mean, he he has more pieces, so he can do more. But mm -hmm. I think it's going to be pretty much the same. It's just going to look different because it'll probably be faster. You know? yeah. <laughs> the process sure added more wrinkles, right? Yeah, so yeah, because it's gonna be like wrinkles and packages, right? Like you could have, uh, you could have a package where yeah, you have your end standing up, but one end is Ruben, Ruben Bain, and the other one is maybe a Jaden Wayne. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because you don't have any film on him, you might not have really seen him when he played at ING to know that skill set where that 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 pursuit and that attack. Or could drop them back in coverage, or you could have a Malik Bryant drop down to get him on the field, or a Popo just to have something a little faster coming off that edge. Sure. So that's what I'm saying. I was like, you could you could have an idea, but you till you see how fast those players are moving. Even a Corey Flag, right? Corey, like you could put a Corey Flag out there that's smart, that's been here forever, that could be out there and doing doing some things that you might not have seen or or really thought that he could do because he's put in a different position. With a coach and coaches that you know, what I'm saying might be asking something different to him than he's been asked in the past. Fam, I want to. I'm excited about the kickoff. Like, I really oh, are you, want to see yeah. who's on kickoff. Man, is Coach Maloof still the special teams coordinator? Yes. Yeah, he hasn't gone anywhere. Okay, so I'm 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 actually excited to see how. He plays with the returns, man, because I, I think that has to become a weapon. We haven't had a weapon in that. I mean, last year, Keyshawn Smith was surprisingly returning yeah. some kicks, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. we haven't been able to use that as a weapon in a long time, you know? And I think with the pieces we have, we should be able to do that now, man. And I'm I'm curious to see how – he uses that as a weapon. Man, I think we can actually block some punts, man. And yeah, you know, so hopefully, yeah, man. Hopefully, have, you know what? I would have I would have Robert Stafford coming out the edge, yeah. like to go after the punt. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like you, you're talking return game. We got options, right? Like there's yeah. a safety net. There's a safety net choice. Who we know who that is, and there's mm -hmm. a oh shit, what is he about to do? Which is a younger guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which are younger players. So, yeah, man. I, yeah, just, I, think, I, on punt, I think on punt, you would rather have the safety net. Like, yeah, you go X. I, yeah, you, you go X. Yeah. It, get me 10 yards, 10, get me 15 yards, man, whatever. Kickoff, I think you 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 go with the buggy. You go with the buggy yeah. on kickoff, man. You go with the buggy uggy. You so, know how I would throw back there sometimes? CJ. So, CJ, yeah. 
Yeah. See, George, maybe not so much as Tyler Harris because he's an older guy. I always feel like kickoff returns are for like younger players. You know what I'm saying? To get some, <laughs> to get some time on the field. I'm just keeping it a buck. Like this, this is just not just the way I look at it. Might not be right, but I just I want to see Tyler Harris for about 10, 15 plays and see what he does. How many? How many plays would you like? Like in a in your perfect situation, in a perfect scenario for you for for tomorrow's game. How run? How many plays would you like to see to feel confident that this team's getting something going? Obviously, the competition being what it is, but you know, what I'm saying mm. we we don't we don't talk about the other team because, like I said yesterday, it's like it's always been about what we do and how we perform and how we respond. So, for you, what would be your your dream scenario? Well, I, I'm not one of the people who needs to see seventeen nothing in the first quarter to feel confident or even, you know, 31, nothing at half. No, I I don't need to see that. You know, um, if we're controlling a game um, and we're doing what we want to do, similar to Texas A&M, keeping it a buck, like on offense, we controlled that game. We pretty much did what we wanted to do. So if we're able to do that, and because drives, sustained drives are long. That's 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 time of possession. You know what yep. I mean? And if if people know, Coach Dawson, Houston, they led, they were tops in time of possession. So yep. we can control the clock, time of possession, man. And we in the first quarter, you know, seven up, 14, nothing, seven, nothing, something like that. Seven, three, 14, three at half. We up 21, three or something like that. I'm good, you know. Um, yeah. You know, I I would like to see what I want to see is us do what we do and do it well, the basic stuff. Because you have to be able to run the ball, stop the run, you know, catch, catch the, ball. the ball. Yeah, yeah. catch the ball, tackle. make tackles. I want us to do that basic stuff well, kick the ball, yeah. you know, um, and then – you know, of course, win the game. But, like, when we played um, – who do we beat? Last? It was Bethune and who was the other one? It was, like, another off team. Southern Miss? Uh, no, who was uh, it? Uh, yeah, Southern Miss. Yeah, with Frank or son. Oh. Yeah. Southern okay. Miss, yeah. So, even though we won that game at Southern Miss, Didn't it wasn't a good – like, we didn't do things well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So – it needs to – we just need to do things well. And that's all I really want to see, man. I, I don't – the plays and all that, I don't, I don't really care about that. I want to see a sustained drives, um, get off the field on defense, three and outs. You know, when we have them in third down, get off the field. Yep. I want to see us convert third downs. I want to see us getting in second and medium, second and short, third and shorts, um, and just do the basic stuff well. So yep. – we can, when we get into our schedule, we can do all the other shit. We can yeah. do all the exotic stuff, but we have to do the basics well. So that's what I want to see. No, nah, I'm with you. I'm 100 with you on that. Yeah, just catch, tackle, block. You know yeah. what I mean? Just, just this. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm, 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 on paper, yeah, on paper, it's not, it's not a competition. Yeah, but when we don't do the little things well, it becomes a very stressful game. For no fucking reason, and we don't mm-hmm. want that. We just tackle, get them off the field, convert your convert short yards. You know what I'm saying? I I want to see the one thing I'm looking for on Friday is defensive line, man. Like I just I want to see, just like we want to see a push from, just like I want to see a push from the O line. I want to see just basic domination from the D line. Like I said mm-hmm. at the beginning, right. Uh, Brett Gabbard, their quarterback, is an escapable quarterback, which means he's basically often running for his life and has tendencies to get out of the pocket early. I want to see, you know, same our linebackers being able to read that and break that down and and scheme towards that and not let him start feeling himself because allegedly 2,500 yards in a 12 12 game season is something to write home about. TBD did that in six games, but that's you know, saying we'll move on from that. Let him Um, rock. Let them feel good, yeah. man. Yeah, let them feel real <laughs> good about yourself. That's fine, man. Yeah, you know, saying that team from Ohio. 
But yeah, man, I'm, that's what I want to see. I want to see like our guys just eat. Like they, they, I was. They have a big running back that's like six two, two hundred and thirty pounds. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see that rolling down the. You know, what I'm saying rolling on the field with yeah, a bunch of his back. back. You got to get in that backfield, man. Stop him yeah, before he start going. Stop yeah, him before don't he let him get that going. momentum. But yeah, there is that part where there is that side of it that our linebackers aren't that size. That that he typically would have bulldozed, right? Like you gonna yeah. meet size with size, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna, it's, it's a little different now. You can go down the line. That that linebacker room is different. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, you can't let that dude get started. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. And we gonna have, you know, we gonna if that's I think I think <laughs> during games I'm gonna I'm gonna stay off Twitter. Yeah, because exactly. if we're not up twenty eight nothing after the first quarter, it's gonna be problems on Twitter. You know what I mean? Even though we saw the world's greatest team in USC struggle with San Jose State in the first yep. half. You know what yep. I mean? Um, but that's not going to matter, man. So, um, um, yeah, man. I, I, you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something. Yeah. Uh, before, before we started this, right, uh, I hated getting on Twitter during Kane's games because mm-hmm. you you go on Twitter, it's everybody's doing the snap analysis of every single play. Play by play. So, play, by yeah. play. Yo, this is trash. I can't believe they did this. Like, yeah. family, I was doing it. I was doing it. Yeah. No, I know. I, I, I followed you. I, I I understand. Like I I get that. I get that perspective of it. But it was like it. You read that and then you watch the game. It makes it less enjoyable because yeah. you're like. What uh, this guy misses, like this guy misses the tackle. Oh, what's Twitter gonna say? So I was like, I'm just gonna. I had so I had my 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 page up or whatever for a long time, but I was like, I'm not tweeting nothing because that it was just it's just a bunch of shit like that. I was like, I'm staying off it, and I'm gonna wait to like do the do the see the big picture. I'm seeing the same play you've seen, but like mm-hmm. putting it out there, then like because it's like if you do it and then I like, go back and try to read the comments and respond to everything. Like how I was always like, how are you watching every play? Like, are you rewinding? You know what I'm saying? If you live, are you are, mm-hmm. are you rewinding because you missed something? You know what I mean, like, mm-hmm. you might not have seen that assignment. So I always I always watch the game twice. I always watch mm-hmm. the game in the moment. And, you know what I'm saying, t- and then the second time I watch it, I take my notes. I was like, all right, so this is what happened on so-and-so play, yada, 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 especially now with the show. But reading that, they're like, it's so much, and it's always so much worse on Twitter. You know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, but they missed uh, so-and-so wide open. Fam, did you did you did you take into account how much time the quarterback had, or and, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying like what was happening where he was yeah. in his progression? There was a, a six eight three hundred and ninety three pound D tackle in his face when he threw it. Did you? Yeah, you didn't see the fact that he's running. That? He's running. <laughs> he's running towards his left for his life, and he's right handed. But you're mad that he didn't throw the ball eighty seven yards on a dime. Like what? Like because you couldn't have both arguments, right? You could. It was always funny. It was like, you couldn't have the argument. It was like, oh, man, we're so talented, but then get mad that this guy didn't see whoever the fuck running down the sideline 60 yards away while he's running for his life the other way. Because you because yeah. everybody know our O-line's been trash. Like, that that wasn't like a news flash the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years, really. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's crazy, man. Especially now people are like, oh, I, I can see people now like adding us on on the pod, like on, on Twitter. Hey man, you gonna talk about this? Why didn't so and so start? Fam, like I don't, you don't, we don't have calls in the Mario. Be like, yo man, why didn't why didn't Shimmy start? Why did Jacoby George drop that pass? Like I'm not calling, I'm not fucking the guy from Oregon. Be like, yo man, we, we're supposed to run X right there. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Nope. nope. It's, it's it's crazy, fam. One day away, man. One, yeah, all right, okay, there it is. He's so subtle with it. Let's go, let's get into this. Uh, ad man, let's cook. Welcome to Kane's Web, family owned and operated since 2010. Kane's Web has all the latest merchandise for the Miami Hurricanes, Miami Dolphins, Inner Miami Soccer, and more. Come visit us at our store in Davie on University Drive, just south of I-595, or online at Canesware.com. Canesware, the spot Miami fan shop. Hey, man. 
You going to Kingsville tomorrow or when you when you when you dropping by? Probably Friday morning. All right, all right. Most oh, likely. Man, so- Yo, you talk hold up, you're talking singular already, son. So that what? this means I mean it's, <laughs> this means you're telling me it's like 40. Going, son. if we if we all right, if you want to do this on the show. If we're being yes, keeping we're it up, do this I, on the show, I, I genuinely will not know until tomorrow when my schedule is confirmed. Like, oh, it's work. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, it's work. Shit. Yeah, like this. If this storm would have been bad and I lost power, obviously I would have told you something. Like, Yo, man, that's when I go. I don't know unless I would have got power back. I ain't leaving the crib with no power. That's just not happening. Right. Um. So now it's just some work shit. So I'm trying to figure out if things go my way, and if they don't, I'll tell you. I'll tell you tomorrow. Right now, so it's looking like so you get the schedule like in the morning. Yeah, I get my schedule the day before. When my when my people call their people, you know, what I'm saying to figure it all out. But yeah, okay. yeah. So it's a, it's a it's a work thing. Try, I'm trying to make it happen, man. You know, I'm trying to make it happen. I, I, fans, I, I fans, I'm a, I'm gonna see y'all. All right, I'm gonna see right. y'all Friday, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk through poke poke, man. He I need. Just some- text me. I need some um I need some security, man. So <laughs> you know what I mean you're gonna have to meet me. We go we we meet at Flannies. You can meet at Flannies. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I need some, I don't want nobody throwing glizzies at me, man. So I need some <laughs> protection. <laughs> He'll be down there. You know what I'm saying? My boy Poke will be out of there. He actually just texted me, man. Check checking up on the storm. So that's dope. That's my guy, man. That's my guy Ben, man. He's good people, man. I think he's coming down with the family too, so that's dope. But yeah, man. Yeah, it's crazy. So you do what? know about A and M or no? That's yeah, yeah that's a hundred. That's okay. that's locked in. That's locked okay. in with Sharpie, man. Like yeah, okay. like the okay. marks a lot, Sharpie. You know what I mean? Like okay. the the, okay. the one that if it exploded, it was a wrap for what for whatever was in your bag type shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Damn, I can't believe the season's here. Like I'm like I got like nerves and anxiety because this week's been weird with the storm and shit. And then like. Yeah. Friday coming, Friday coming. I was like, man, I when the, this is really about to pop off finally, man. So listen, y'all year, didn't get you didn't get hit with nothing. You didn't get hit. You got some heavy rain or not? Uh, I got. Well, I I went to sleep when I went to sleep last night. I went to bed around eleven thirty. Is when the found out it was going to be a cat four, but it was staying way out west, right? Like the mm-hmm. eye and everything. So it was staying way out west. But the fear all week was. We're supposed to get like what's called like the dirty side, which is a, the back side of it, where like sure. tornadoes and all tornadoes and all that shit are. Shout out to you heard weather channel just popping on. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, so I, that was the worry. And you know what I'm saying? I got I got all these windows in my crib and I got these big ass trees. So I had to board up. We ended up getting nothing. We didn't have a down tree, no branches, got really lucky. Wife told me that it was really windy, you know what I mean, while I was sleeping, but I was out, so I can tell you. Um, metal roof, so we're good. But yeah, I ended up getting nothing, nothing around here. Really, nobody. I don't even think nobody lost power in my in my whole like county. So it was dope, man. Yo, but nice, prayers man. up to everybody in the Big Ben, Yo, Stein, Hatchie, and That's that whole cool, that man. whole area, man. Because that Absolutely. that was crazy. The footage from that is terrifying. That's that's yeah. two years in a row where right below us and right above us gets hit like crazy. Because yeah. last year we. I think it was Ian destroyed Fort Myers area, and then mm-hmm. this year, uh, uh, the Dahlia destroyed the Big Ben. So, man, just just I was yo, I was I was legit worried, fam. I was like, man, because if that shit cat four and it turns a little bit, oh, it's, we sh- definitely should have left my house. Like we we should have gone mm-hmm. to my mom's crib on the east side, but we good and mm-hmm. got real lucky for real. So, okay, yeah, blessed man, no doubt. Yeah, man. doubt. Yeah. Man. Yeah, no, A and M's a hundred. Like that's that's locked in. I already told you, it's done. So like we'll we'll make we're making that happen. But Friday is up in the air. Like if it happen, if I can make it, be like literally walking in when the game starts type shit. Okay, you know okay. I mean? Which is which is fine because it's not like we tailgate anyway. But it would be dope to see the people. You know what I'm saying? See people, see some listeners, and run into our create. You know what I'm saying? I'll be out there like, eating, man. I'll be out there eating, man. X yeah. flow, yeah. Let's get it together, man. I'm J- hey, JD the boss. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my bad, JD. My bad. I know you man, are. That guy, that guy was trying to tailgate for Kings Fest at 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, he Yo, was- I see JD in 
every single Miami commercial. So it don't matter the Crazy. sport either. It's not just football. <laughs> I see him in volleyball commercials, son. basketball. Ping pong. Son. They do pick, every if there's man. a pickleball game, son, pickleball Miami yeah. game, he's there. And so, yeah. The man is everywhere. And he's always on the cover, yep. He's yes, always, like he's man. always the image. That's crazy. Shout out That's to JD, cool, man. man. I love it, man. Yeah, man. Shout out. Oh to man, JD. that guy shows shows love, man. Shout out to Shelton, man. So I want to say du Dufay, Dufet, if I'm saying your name wrong, son. Right. The dude that's oh son that's always like dressed that's out in the whole. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have him on the show soon, man. We just couldn't figure it out this week because of the storm, yeah. and we're supposed to do something a little different today, but. Last minute, you know, what I'm saying we cooked, we cooked alone on this one, man. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing everything, man. It was, it was dope. Uh, if I can't make it this week, I'll definitely be there next week, and we'll be at a uh, at full strength till CB can finally catch a flight and come out in the in the parties all together, man. Yeah, I'm, gonna a, I'm gonna start a, I'm gonna go fund me, man. <laughs> For CB, <laughs> to get CB out, man. Yeah, man, that dude works too hard, man. That's crazy. So look to CB, man. Yeah, Always man. jumping on everybody's show. Yeah, I want to run something by you, and I'm gonna do it live on the show. I think uh, starting next week, because um, you already be in Miami, and you already be in the city. Um, I think we should start having like a guest picker every show for for that week's game. Do it like that, like do yeah, a fan. Yeah. Oh, you'll be so you'll be you still be home. All right, cool. Yeah. So we'll drop it. So we'll drop. So we'll record somebody. So we'll pick somebody at random. Um, I know I know Poke want to come back on the show. I know Hoodie Girl want to come on the show. That's definitely going to happen. I can't wait. I can't wait to get Hoodie Girl on the show. Man, she's she classic with this shit, man. She, she's yeah. cooking, man. She's cooking out there. Yeah. That's dope, man. But, yeah, we're going we gonna to work, man. We appreciate all y'all, man. You know how we do. I got to let my dog go because he's it's past his bedtime, man. It's 745. I got a, I got a, I got a, uh, a fantasy draft with the flow team at 9 o'clock. You okay. Why are you staying up really that late? Me. Yeah, they really got. I got to set an alarm just to make sure I'm still up, baby. You so you got to set one of them timers on your phone. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Every five minutes. So you don't, make sure you don't doze off or shit. Just fall Last asleep. year, last, son, last year I missed it. And I was tight. <laughs> My wife was, she was laughing because I was, I missed it. I was tight. Yeah, I got to hit up. I got to hit up Max. He, he hit me uh, talking about uh, who, who I got in the, in the final four at the end of the year. Play football playoff. Yeah, 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 I gotta, I gotta yeah, drop he that. making a spreadsheet. Yeah, he doing. Yo, a spreadsheet. so my picks was, my picks was, Georgia, Tennessee. Okay. Tennessee, I went totally out. Tennessee, Clemson, Texas. Okay. And Ohio State. Only one I would change, and not, and I hate giving. Only one I would change, uh, I would give Notre Dame over Ohio State because of Sam Hartman. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, that's I think true. I'm, that's true, and that's and that's the that's the theme, right? Quarterbacks, man. Nobody Alabama don't know who their quarterback is, and they, I don't, don't think they're confident in their quarterback. Georgia, Georgia. Davis, uh, you know, we don't know. Um, Joe Milton at Tennessee is going to be a problem, man. I, yes, I think he's yes, going to be a very L problem. Texas, I mean, Quinn Ewers or – Yeah, he's um, solid. He's solid, though. He, he, yeah, he's he gave solid. everything. Um, Ohio State is going to have a new quarterback, too, though. So um, Yeah, that's why That's why I give uh, Notre Dame the nod because of Sam yeah. – I think Sam Hartman has been one of the best quarterbacks. And Clemson, too. too, though, man. I might change it to fucking Miami. Yeah. How about – how about that? <laughs> change it to Miami. <laughs> Miami, Tennessee. I that's a I good one. It, too, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll get. I'll say, and I'll and I'll text them after this. I'll say, uh, Tennessee, Tennessee, USC, Caleb Williams. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go. Who was your third? Texas, mm -hmm. Texas, and then and then Notre Dame, and I can see Notre Dame being three, like Notre Dame. Just because Texas, Texas is, I think, is going to run away with the Big Twelve. Yeah. Um yeah, I mean, you got TCU. Um yeah. but I think last year I think that was, was a one year thing. Yeah, yeah that was a one year thing. Barra Riley's good one. Yeah, I also so, feel that way about uh, FSU being that one year thing. So 
Yeah. I think last year was last year was their best effort to to. And again, like I saw, I forgot who I was watching. Just said, like they just beat the people in front of them. But the only people they with with the number in their rank, you know, what I'm saying that were ranked, they lost to. So anybody of quality, they they either lost to very badly or lost. I guess very badly is like by ten or more. Then they lost to all of them by ten or more. You know what I'm saying are there are there good games? Are there good teams? So yeah, that's my four. I'll text I'll text Mac now. Yeah, I don't do fantasy football anymore, man. It just it got to be too much. Like <laughs> I, I got to be too much. Brick, uh, our our guy brick by brick hit me, and I was like, nah, man. He was trying to have me join. I was like, nah. I, I, I retired from fantasy football probably 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. I just, I was like, yeah, I was like, it was just not my thing. But salute to those. I can't believe you staying up past 8, 8.30. I'm shocked, sir. Yes. Stunned. I, it's, I am bamboozled bamboo and hoodwinked. Relax. You know what I mean? Can't believe you. Son, you don't, you stop responding in the group chat. At eight fifteen, son. You know, facts. You out. Last it's night, son. Early. I was down. I was last night. I was down early, son. Son, I was. I usually don't go to sleep till about eleven. And see, I forget CB on a different time and shit. And he hit me like late as fuck. Like, fam, what are you doing? Like one o'clock. Oh, it was only twelve to him. But fucker, go to sleep. You were at work yeah. for eighteen hours. Go to sleep, son. Yeah. All right, man. I'll be up Yo. early, so. You want to do you want to do a final score prediction, or you just wanna just wanna see what what it is? I mean, we gonna win, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we gonna win, it. man. I don't know. I say, I say, forty one ten. Yeah, I got forty one seventeen. Mm-hmm. They do like that that garbage time touchdown. They don't mean nothing. Like the clock running off. That, yeah, yeah, that's what I see. I'm excited to just 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 see it again, like to to finally yeah. like fill in some of the blanks of the unknown. And I think how that's how a lot of fans feel. That's how a lot of fans are like filling in the blanks with like their perspective of either negativity or positivity, because we have no fucking idea. It's 43 new players, and the majority of them are going to play. We're going to find out yep. Friday, man. We're going to find yep. out Friday. Have you ever I been to a, um, Kane's Walk? No, nah, never. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, you did, right? Obviously because of your son. Yeah. 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 I've never, oh. I've never A, made it in time or B, remembered. Because when okay. I would go to games, I wasn't exactly uh, sober. You know what I mean? I was, I was, I was, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I was partaking in the festivities, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So, well, yeah. Next week, we'll, we'll have to do the, you'll have to do your first Kings walk, man. Facts, yeah, I'm definitely in that. All right, man. That you heard podcast, yo. We up out of here. Peace.